Hey guys, Paul here from the Running Injury Free Revolution, and we're here at the Endeavour 500 with uh, Hinza. Hey, Hinza. Hey, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Hinza's just back from the city to sea down in Melbourne. How'd you go down there, mate? Yeah, I enjoyed the run, and I came second, so you know, I can't complain. I'm happy. Awesome, mate. Yeah, he's, he's really peaking, and one thing that Hinza's trying to do is really keep his length. And so what I wanted to do, I've showed you guys how we actually stretch uh, that iliacus. It's this sort of deep muscle as part of iliac psoas, the hip flexor. Um, I want to show you guys how you do that yourself because as an elite runner, you must know how to do it because it's, it's just essential for your technique over time. So first thing you want to do is check your, your hip flexor length. So we've got um, great props here, guys, on the car. <laughs> We'll so we're basically just checking hip flex length, so so as length. So basically we've got to 10 degrees below below 90. Um, press it down through there. So a little bit tight. Hens is pretty good, pretty good little structure. Uh, he's got to work on that. So one of the ways you can do that is um is coming up the tree. Uh, we use seat belts, guys. A lot of you guys will have uh, have stretch bands. Stretch bands are fine. I really love the fact that the, stretch, the seat belt is not going to give you too much gear, so it's you know, a lot better the way it distracts. So we're going to come in the right leg of it. So we clip them up, right up into the grind. And then we're just going to distract. So you're distracting out. And then just relaxing off. And then out again, so you do that yourself. So we're gapping the joint there. It's a really good way to actually specifically pick up iliacus. Very hard to get in the trigger point. Very hard to specifically stretch. And then relax off. And we'll do one more. Okay. So it doesn't take too long. Then um, we will unhook. And away we go. We'll check it again. So Thomas test top position. Up through here. And straight away, we've got another like five degrees. Get that down to sort of 15, coming on 20 degrees there. So, uh, as a uh, Victor, how many runs have you done today? I've done uh, four sections of the day. Yeah, some of the sections that I was in were filling for somebody else. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so. So, so again, probably just a training day for, for Henza because he's got higher goals that he's working towards. But what he wants to do is he wants to keep that link upright. And he wants to be aware of stretching hip flexors. So he can do that in a simple, that's a simple one. You can load it up. We've shown you a couple of ways of doing that. But very important to be able to get more specific and pick up iliacus as well. Because one of the beautiful things about Henza, I wish I was built like you know, uh, it, it, is that he's, he's very long and he can initiate movement from there. So that, that T12 is where that initiation of movement starts. So it makes his lever arm a lot longer. He uses less energy to go faster. And length is key to that. Hens has got a God given, he's, he's born with that, but he still works on it every single day of his life as well. So, mate, thanks for coming us out today. Thank you very much. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of the weekend. We, we've got another couple of days here at the Endeavour 500. It's going to be awesome. It'll be interesting to see how much money it gets raised. Running's doing awesome things for people's lives. It's changing people's lives. Uh, and yeah, get, get into it, guys. We, we love our running. If you need any information, uh, check us out at riffrev.com.